Well, Cornhead's on. Welcome back, guys. Here's another video. So, it is Monday morning. We are back with another video. Uh, these farming videos, it's kind of hard to film and, and while well, at work. My days are so scattered, so we're done beans. Give me a little update. We're all done beans. We finished uh, last Thursday, just before the rain. Might have been Friday, even. I think it was Friday, and then we got a pouring of rain. Uh, we got a bunch of wheat planted. And uh, we got a new grain dryer and we're trying to get some corn to it today. So when the guys come, they're gonna test fire it either this afternoon or first thing tomorrow morning. Make sure that's all running good, but we need to get some corn. So dad, as you saw, I was just heading out in the combine. He's gonna go to the field, get, get a strip on the headland taken off. And then I'm taking the 190 with the chopper on the back over to the other farm. We're gonna get the chopper unhooked and they're coming today to get the seed beans out of the bin so they need a tractor to run the blower. So we're gonna get the chopper off, get the tractor parked in the yard ready for them. And then uh, we'll get the grain cart and the trucks in the field. But before we get the grain cart in the field, we got a bolt to put in the, the tarp pole there. So let's head over to the other farm. We'll get this tractor dropped off and my dad picked up. Oh, we just missed it, but they were kind of, the neighbors were kind of stuck here, so I was just giving them a hand and get their wagons out, but the old white field boss makes her happen again. So, as you can tell, we're in the field. Just starting, the corn's about 19%. Um, this stuff's going over 200 bushel. We calibrated and did a little way, way off, so smooth sailing now. We'll go catch up with the combine at the back there. load up to the truck here and get her dumped and we're kind of not in a hurry but we want to get it home to the elevator there the guy's there now to test fire the dryer and he's waiting for some wet corn here so We've got a few more tests to run so we do have a few minutes here but the sooner we get this over there the better how she's done let's get her home and like quick dick says before you hit the open road don't forget to tarp your load now let's see if she'll pull out of here three inches or two inches of rain anyway so fields are soft that's why the neighbor you know he pulled it halfway across the field before he got stuck with a little bit of an incline the two-wheel drive tractor it wasn't really his fault it's just soft and you can really tell the fields where you plow versus no-till or minimum tillage because 
they're soft this time of year after a rain like that. So we'll get this home and we'll get her in the auger and get the wet tank filled up. So we're back in the field, got the 386 here, they're working on this set of wagons. They weren't quite ready for us in the yard, they had a few more tests they had to do and just make sure everything's set up before they test fire the dryer. So I came back and we got one wagon full, my uncle took over for me, he's working on the other set. Let's have a look to see how, how the combine's doing. There's gonna be some corn on the ground, but uh, I like to look in these tire tracks as well as in the row. It normally shows you a good indication of whether you're, if the corn's pushed down in the tracks, that means it was header loss. And if it's sitting on top like it is here, that means that it's coming out the back of the combine. So. A little bit there, um, this is the headland. We did get things tightened up a little bit after we got going. But. Pretty clean, see the odd one or two, so I think we're happy with that so far. And the other thing is, see how these rows are right flat? We've got a Yetter Devastator kit on our corn head and it flattens these stalks down as it uh, as it's working and we find for the no-till soybeans in next spring it works really good and then when you harvest the beans we're shaving those beans right off at the ground. Sometimes you get a pod at the bottom that you can't get because you're riding up on corn roots. So if you're no-tilling soybeans into corn stalks you have to look at the Yetter uh, Devastator kit does a really nice job and let's just take a walk in the field here and see what this corn is all about um, this is the first corn we planted basically April 26th or 27th a um, little bit of top breaking not bad it doesn't bother me this is 825 Pioneer P0825 AM nice you can tell it's got a long ear shank, the cob just hangs down off that stalk once it tips down. It tips down early and opens up because of how long that shank is and how big that cob is. So we really like this variety. Uh, let's grab a random one here. So basically pollinated all the way to the end, some nice ears. The corn's coming off at roughly 19% right now, which for this part of Ontario is actually really dry normally when we start it's 25 or 26 percent so i assume most of the corn will be like this this ground is kind of sandy you can see here it's a bit sandy so it does dry down a bit faster and this variety dries down fast so as we progress and get on to some of the clays you know that might change the moisture might go up a bit but we have a fair about uh, amount of corn on this sand there's uh this field here one across the road, you know, and one over there. So be enough to, to get it going, um, get the dryer going, and, and hopefully most of the corn uh, for the next day or two at least stays at the same moisture so we can figure out, you know, get the dryer set and, and all that. So, oh, I love this time of year. Corn harvest is probably the best. It's a beautiful day. And even for all that rain on this sand here, that combine's hardly leaving a mark. Um, like we've shown in other videos and I've said before, it's got 1100 LSW tires on the front. If you don't know anything about LSW tires, look it up, Google it, check out Titan tires, Goodyear Titans. They're freaking awesome. Uh, we've had them on the combine. This is our third year now, maybe, second or third. And it is amazing the difference that it makes. We'll wait for them to get that wagon loaded up and then we'll shuttle that one to the farm, drop it off, come back. Uh, hook on this set and by then the truck should probably be full and they'll probably be wanting some great
we'll pilot this baby down the road. They were ready for corn, so. So here's a better look at how that Yetter Devastator does in this field. Like, we're cruising right now. You can see kind of where the rows are, but they're not sticking straight up. And there's a lot more trash, it looks like. In the spring, it's not a mat of tra like, trash like you would think. It all actually being pushed down on the ground starts decomposing faster. The worms start pulling it down, you know, promotes promotes good soil health with worms and things like that too so it's awesome you can basically drive anywhere in this field we still like to kind of follow the rows but it's not as hard on the tires especially having them big buns on the front of that combine so pretty cool give you an up close shot of what it looks like maybe later on so you're probably wondering why we're back in the field obviously we're still harvesting we'll probably get this field off but we had another hour and a half to kill here, so we thought we'd uh, rip off another truck or so, and then they're going to show us how that baby works. So I'm excited to uh, I'm excited to try out the new dryer, or, or at least learn how to work it. I'm a bit nervous. There's a lot to learn compared to the old one. It's all, but it's supposed to be kind of automated, and there's an app for your phone, so it should uh, make life a little bit easier. But it is going to be a learning curve, so it'd be cool to. Uh, to learn about that and uh, get it running smooth. So, we'll catch up with you in a bit. Ah, uh, you missed it, but you can see it. You can see it there, just at the bottom of the head. The sun's kind of in a bad spot here. So we'll try to get a shot of these yetters. Watch underneath the head as he lifts it up. You'll see him kind of hang down. See him hanging down there in the middle of the head. What they are is basically three roller sections. See them under there now. And they're spring loaded. And they just roll along the ground and roll the stalks down. And that's the result. Pretty awesome. That'll also fit on the 8 series heads, the 6 series heads, and the 7 series heads. So. That's it, that's all for the first field. Awesome, that's a good start for today. We're not in too big of a rush, we got a lot to learn, so we're just going to do this field for today and uh, pick back up tomorrow and hopefully hit her a little harder. So, she's dark out. Uh, Got home from harvesting corn, got a rundown on the dryer, how to run it. Things are running good, I don't know if you can hear it in the background. But, anywho, I'm going to unload uh, the last truck of the day I had, plus that set of wagons I hauled in earlier. And I'm going to check the dryer and, and do another calibration, send that over to the dryer guy. And he's just going to, you know, we're just going to double check that everything's running good. And I think I'm going to shut her down for the night after that. So, just want to say... Thanks for watching. Keep subscribing, keep liking. A lot of you guys aren't subscribed to the channel. If you don't mind just hitting that button, it's free, won't cost you a thing. Hit the notification bell, and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks guys. Oh, she looks good at night. <laughs>